And here is the Artist's Almanac for January 31st, 2018. It's the birthday of American composer Philip Glass, born on this day in 1937 in Baltimore, Maryland. Glass's father, Benjamin, owned a record store with a reputation as Baltimore's leading source of modern music. Glass had this to say, My father was self-taught, but he ended up having a very refined and rich knowledge of classical, chamber, and contemporary music. Typically, he would come home and have dinner and then sit in his armchair and listen to music until almost midnight. I caught on to this very early, and I'd go and listen with him. Glass took up the violin and flute and began performing before reaching his teens, and took classes at the Peabody Institute's conservatory and later studied at the University of Chicago, the Juilliard School, and in Paris with legendary teacher Nadia Boulanger. Initially shunned by the classical world, in a 2015 interview on NPR's Fresh Air, Glass commented that, There was a time when I was not even allowed to play at music schools, and if I played in a music school, I was usually invited by the dance department or some other department. If I happened to be in the music building practicing, for example, I could see a note on the board assuring the students that there was no need at all to come hear me play that night. That went on for years. That stopped simply because the young people who like me, or learn to like me, are now the professors teaching in the schools. Today, Philip Glass is regarded as one of the 20th century's most influential musician composers. Glass founded the Philip Glass Ensemble, with which he still performs on keyboards. He has written numerous operas and musical theater works, 11 symphonies, 11 concertos, seven string quartets, and various other chamber music and film scores, garnering him three Academy Award nominations. You practice, and you get better. It's very simple, says Philip Glass, who today turns 81 years old. It's also the birthday of renowned ethnomusicologist Alan Lomax, born on this day in Austin, Texas in 1915. Lomax worked as a folklorist, archivist, writer, scholar, political activist, and filmmaker, but his greatest legacy is in preserving and publishing recordings of musicians of many folk and blues traditions around the U.S. and Europe. Alan's father, John Lomax, was a scholar of Texas folk life who collected the songs of sharecroppers in the Deep South. Alan began traveling with his father as a teenager, and at the age of 17, began collecting songs and interviews for the Library of Congress. Lomax also advised Carl Sagan on programming choices for the Voyager Golden Record sent into space in 1977 to represent the music of Earth. Lomax would eventually come to produce and host programming for many outlets, including RCA, Columbia Records, the BBC, DECA. He also published catalogs and encyclopedias on folk music of the world. He authored award-winning books on the subject. And over the course of his 70-year career, Alan Lomax collected thousands upon thousands of recordings and introduced artists like Muddy Waters, Woody Guthrie, Pete Seeger, Burl Ives, and countless others to mainstream American and European audiences. Lomax was a recipient of the National Medal of Arts, the National Book Critics Circle Award, and in 2000, the Library of Congress Living Legend Award for his contributions to the study of folk life and music worldwide. Alan Lomax died two years later in Sarasota, Florida, on July 19, 2002. I'll leave you with this wonderful quote of his. Folklore can show us that this dream is age old and common to all mankind. It asks that we recognize the cultural rights of weaker peoples in sharing this dream, and it can make their adjustment to a world society an easier and more creative process. The stuff of folklore, the orally transmitted wisdom, art, and music of the people can provide 10,000 bridges across which men of all nations may stride to say, you are my brother. A sentiment we'd all do well to consider from the late, great Alan Lomax. Thanks for listening. Be kind, do good work, and until next time.